So yeah, I, I'm all for the comics. I got into, you know, not Dragon Ball Z, but just some of the characters. You know, I guess when uh, Pokemon right. kind of came out. Couldn't miss that. Right, <laughs> you know, kind of that character, you know, feel and look and feel. I thought it was pretty cool. So mm -hmm. to me, that was like, you know, big. So make that big again here. You know, mm -hmm. whatever that is. It could be your stuff. Right. Try him. Uh, so well, get a group of other cartoonists, artists that you know, you know, in your um, networking. And I think uh, to to round it off here, mm -hmm. um, what I'm doing on my channel is going to be like not so much educational, because I don't like the idea of me telling other people how to do their creative process no, or no. even their marketing strategy. Right. Um, I'm gonna more so frame it as here's just my advice. Here's here's what I'm doing, mm -hmm. you know. And I think you should try it too. You don't have to. Right. You know, you might find something even better to do sure. a, a different way. Mm -hmm. So, but I do want to provide like what I think are good ideas and start interacting more on like Twitter with other creators. Mm -hmm. And I did that. Uh, what was this like yesterday or two days ago mm -hmm. and like somebody said on a post like hey give me your most unpopular opinion of making comics you know mm -hmm. like uh, just you know no one's gonna get canceled here what, sure. what do you what do you think is the most radical thing basically and I was saying well I think a lot of more creators should make their own books like DIY books do-it-yourself books like get a printer sure. print it at home because people will spend five G's just yeah. on getting these books printed. And I'm right. like, you don't got that kind of money. Most mm -hmm. people don't have that kind of money, mm -hmm. which is why crowdfunding, you know, has become so popular to where sure, everyone right. does a Kickstarter or Indiegogo yeah. to, to get their comic made. That's why everyone's so stuck in that mood because they're like, well, I have to pay to get this book printed. It's like, mm -hmm. I, I'm like, start doing DIY printed books and don't sell it for money. Sell your books. For, like subscriptions to your social media. Sure. You, if you want a book, subscribe to my YouTube. You yeah, get a book. Yeah, right. And I, I did this recently at my the first commission I went to in a while, mm -hmm. and everybody was like, "Really? That's it? Like they see the value in the book? Right? And they're like, they see the you the subscription to YouTube like as nothing. Like, yeah. oh, yeah, boom, there you go. Yeah. And it's and what you're doing here is you're building a following that can actually create passive income for you and more income like your income can scale so much higher sure, yeah. doing it that way versus just selling a book and yeah that one that's transaction because a lot true. of times i've sold a bunch of books at these like mm -hmm, conventions mm -hmm. and the relationship with that customer ends there right so it's like that's it's smart just, yeah so you know yeah. and yeah i thought it was an unpopular opinion everybody was like that's a great idea <laughs> and so i'm like oh i i I thought nobody was gonna be like no money. What right. you know? I thought they were gonna like reject no, that it. Makes, that's but good. but yeah. yeah, I'm like uh, I'm trying to interact more because I think at the end of the day, yeah, I'm giving away some of my strategies mm -hmm. or I guess all of them. But I mean, at the end of the day, it advances the entire industry, which is gonna yes. be good for me. Come on, Benny man, the kid is a L7 weenie.